Man, you know, one of the best parts about what I do is having the ability to be able to be myself, but reach people from so many different walks of life, in so many different places, spaces, and environments. What I mean is, I used to struggle with the fact that like, man, I could perform in a club, I could perform in the middle of the hood, I could perform at a Stop the Violence rally, I could perform at a HBCU college, I could perform at a high school, perform at an Ivy League school, or perform at a church. And every time my music reaches those people and it really touches them and it entertains them and, you know, really like giving them that brain food, it really puts something, you know, healthy on their minds. And I used to struggle with that. Like, where do I really fit in that? Now I'm starting to embrace that. So I'm just trying to get better and better at how to manage that, you feel me? And um, I know that the person who gave me this, you know, gave me this talent don't make mistakes, you feel me? So this is an example right now. This is me at a prestigious university, Brown University, speaking and performing to this classroom full of students. Peep it out. Perfect. So I can't believe how this worked out. This really worked out. I was like, what? Um, the guy. Um, ben Brubaker. Ben Brubaker started. That's how this whole thing happened. He, I don't even know him either. Wow. But he, we had, he had tweeted some of my tweets, and then I looked him up, and I saw he had, you know, solid politics. Mm -hmm. And I think he knows some people I know. Okay. Okay. But I, you know, it was ben, real. It was totally that's random. My man, Ben is from up, up around this area. And, right. And he's, that was his gateway, and I clicked on it. I was like, oh god. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so I just have. It only happened not that long before at Princeton. Wow. Which is when your friend was in the audience right. and heard me mention exactly. it. So I kind of did it a little bit risky because I hadn't heard all of your work. So it was a, I, I said, you know, if I say this and dude is like, you know, a maniac, but has one, mm -hmm. you know, political song, because you know how that goes. Exactly. Yeah, I do my political Definitely. song. Definitely. Yeah. I said, I'm about to be toast, but I was like, no, nah, I just had a good feeling about it, so I'm going to say it. And then you tweet, then you like wrote, I was like, this is crazy. Right. Isn't that the crazy wow. thing? I, I don't remember who was in the <laughs> how much you have the ability to be a leader and an influencer of culture. Um, 
Would I rather do that and possibly have a fan base of hundreds of thousands and possibly even millions and then have these same principles that I live by and teach by but just use them and have a much larger platform to express them with? And I chose to say, I chose to say, let me do this full time because I do believe that it's just something that comes with the territory. One thing we spoke about is you might not get into something wanting to be a role model, but as as you, as you take on a role and you realize how much of a platform or an audience you have, you have a responsibility. And I firmly believe that. I don't think anything in life happens by accident, so I don't question why bad things or difficult things have happened, happened in my life. I just look at it like, how can I turn this into a positive? But, but what I think she's saying is, too, the industry might try to control your content. Right? But maybe they see you're so charismatic and you're so gifted and you have such a connection to your audience. Why don't you just do a few more songs of, you know, a little MOB on the side? Why don't you get that? You know, you know what I mean? It's a little bit at a time, right? They don't do it all at once. Right. And, you know, we talked about other artists. I mean, this is the pressure. So, what do you think? I mean, what, do you have a strategy for that? I mean, we just, we just want you to make right. Right? You know, we, we want you to keep... I mean, I've been confronted with it already. I've had people literally tell me, like, I have connections to get your record deal beat, and I already have your first single picked out. I'm like, what the? What? <laughs> you got my first single picked out. Like, I don't get it. And they'll play a song, the beat is already done, the hook is already done, and paste it on there, it says what it says, and it's just pretty much like, insert your rap here. But the content of the song and the vibe of it is already predetermined. I've had that happen to me, and I've resisted, you know? I've been in the studio with alias artists. Uh, not long ago, I was in the studio with T.I. and Dr. Dre, you know, in Atlanta. Um, I'm working currently with a legendary producer from New Orleans by the name of Manny Fresh, you know? I've been, I've been in, an, in environments where, you know, it's not the coolest thing to be doing what I'm doing. I don't curse in my music, you know? I don't even tell people that because I know the perception comes along You're with You're hoping they won't notice. Exactly, exactly. It's like, oh, oh, he don't curse, oh, don't even let him in the studio. Like, no, 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 you, you know, I know how that is. So I've had to deal with that and navigate that, and what I've learned is that over time, there hasn't been any audience from prisons to campuses to hood clubs to churches that I've been able to go into, and I think people relate to the, the spirit that's inside of me and the energy that's coming out. So every song might not be, yeah, that song, that's, that's my favorite one, but it's not about the song more than it is about the brand. And I think that that's, that's what I'm looking forward to being able to do. So you gotta give us a little sampling of your yeah. Like I said, I brought flyers for everybody with my social networks, my Facebook, my Twitter. I really want to stay connected, and this will not be the last time I'm at Brown University. So make sure
nothing like seeing you just kick this live. I mean, I've been listening to you on the internet, I got you on my iPod, but there's nothing like live. So, thank you so, so much for coming and sharing with us.